bigger goals this season than just reaching the playoffs. We're definitely not satisfied just to have made the playoffs. Um, you know, that's not how, how we see it as a group. We were confident in our team uh, dating back to training camp and knew what we were uh, able to accomplish. So, um, yeah, we're by no means satisfied just to be in the playoffs. We expect to, to play well and to win, and, and um, that's our expectation every week. That doesn't change. Really excited to watch his performance. I'm really interested because I do think I went last night over this game because I told you the minute I saw the line, I love the Giants. And then everybody went on the Giants side. And, I, and yesterday, you put, some sell, you put some doubt in my head about this game. And I went and looked at analytics. They favor the Vikings across the board. They do. They do. All the numbers favor the Vikings. So am I buying into just the matchup is interesting. The Giants can run the ball, and the Vikings run defense. It is awful. It is. I don't know where it ranks in the league. It's near the bottom. But I've seen it in games where it's just can't tackle, don't have the size. So... Part of me just, am I falling? Is it confirmation bias? Because my initial reaction is Giants, I like the matchup. When you look at the numbers, they favor the Vikings. In fact, you can make an argument they should be a four-point favorite. I got to ask you, is this one of these humongous moments in the career of Daniel Jones? If he's good and wins this game, we know the Giants are bringing him back. If he's awful against a bad defense, uh, you know, not 9 of 23 and they lose 23-10, Daniel Jones ain't the guy. This is one of those big pivotal moments. What do they call it? Sliding doors moments where his career can go one way or the other, Colin. I don't think it's automatic that he's getting yeah, back you, with the You Giants and I sister. disagree. I think the Mara family is tired of the organizational chaos. Gosh. They don't like how the perce- – they don't want to be the Jets. They do not want to be the Jets. <laughs> that's, that's fair. They a don't want to be – but a fair blow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they don't want to be the Jets. They view themselves as the blue blood of the city's football history. Uh, you know, it's the same way. Lakers look down at the Clippers. The Yankees sneer at the Mets. Fair or not, that's the reality of it. So the Giants do not, they look at themselves as organizationally strong, historically relevant, traditional laden. They don't want to just be banging around and moving around. So I think they've made a decision upstairs. They've told Brian Dable, we're not getting rid of you. I think Dable getting into the playoffs secures two more years in the contract for Brian. Oh, Dable's a lot. No, yeah. he's not going anywhere. It's more about Daniel Jones. So I think I think they're saying, the owner's saying, let's make it work. And also, these owners, remember Mara, he saw the Eli Manning, the slow yeah. train on Eli Manning but the took a while. the problem is there's so many potentially good quarterbacks out there. Brady, you, maybe Aaron Rodgers, he's Derek Carr, going. Jimmy Garoppolo. Those aren't great quarterbacks. Well, what's Daniel Jones, Colin? Okay, but I'm saying if Daniel's a B minus to a C plus. B, okay. Well, I'm just saying this year, 3,000 yards, year. Yeah. 700 yards rushing. That's at least a B minus. I, I would put him at a C plus. Let's say that. Okay. But I, if, I would if I can get an A, I would do it. But Carr's not viewed by a rest of America as A. I, I like Derek Carr, and I think he's a very strong B plus quarterback, slightly ahead of Dak. I don't, I don't view Garoppolo as an A. I like there's intangibles I like, but I mean Jimmy can't throw the ball up the sideline. Okay, so if if you're Day Bowl and Jimmy Garoppolo calls you and says, Hey, this is not no. there's nothing illegal here. I'm interested in no, coming I think to play I, for you. If if I You're keeping Danny Dimes? I'm, I'm telling you, the Mara family has a lot of they're tired of the nonsense and chaos. And you know Dayball who fixed the nonsense it. and chaos? What? Brian Dable. I would trust him. He's the coach you hired. Well, I think they hired him with an understanding. Go back and look at the stories when he got hired. I think they hired him with an understanding. The Mara family said, Brian, we like you. No, oh, fix this quarterback. But, but <laughs> We want this to go two years with Daniel Jones. We see something, and I think Dable knows. I've made it about as good as I can. So here's what Dable's thinking. I've made it as good as I can with bad receivers and an average O-line. So if the Giants commit to the O-line and receivers, then I think it's fair to say Daniel will take another leap. Now, it's not a leap into A, but is it a leap from C-plus to B to B plus with that defense. Now that's a team that can win. Not a lot of examples of guys being average below average, and then all of a sudden making a quantum leap into uh, very very good. Yeah, Geno Smith. One season, he hasn't won a playoff game. I'm just saying. Oh my God. If Daniel, if Daniel, just argument here. Do you believe it's fair to say that if you got Daniel Jones in the first three picks, a really
for him? I'm just saying. The big is, it, is it a reasonable opinion for me to say if you got Daniel's got to a point where this is kind of what he is? Do you think it's possible he could take another half grade leap with a star tight end and a star receiver? And I think the answer is yes. So is this a give him a new contract or it is, let's try for a franchise tag? Franchise tag. I, okay. I'm starting to work on that one. All right. Uh, all right. Final story. <laughs> Jalen Hurts. Uh, I love these quarterback discussions. They're fun. Uh, Jalen Hurts is back from his shoulder injury in week 18, uh, but was in a lot of pain during the game. That win over the Giants secured the one seed. They get the bye. Nick Sirianni said the team is fortunate to have that bye week so Hurts can get healthier for their play first playoff game next weekend. Colin, it's looking like if the Giants win, it'll be Giants-Eagles part I three. Uh, the Giants are not currently constructed to win two playoff games. No, they're not. There's no way they're going to Minnesota and to Philadelphia. I'll just say you mentioned the defensive line is awesome. If Lane Johnson doesn't play, they're I in think the Eagles well, are in deep. He is that good. Well, remember, they're missing. The Eagles are missing the defensive lineman. And they're missing the slot cornerback, Avante Maddox. Speaking of linemen, I don't want to switch topics too much, but the Bengals, you look at that offensive line, it's looking like Kappa probably not going to play. Offensive linemen are massive. You talk about it all the time in the trenches. Eagles, you better get healthy here. I don't know. Getting worried about the Eagles. Niners in the NFC? Well, they're not playing this week. They so are not. Good. All right. Yes. J-Mac with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. About somebody that can get along with Kyler Murray. I think it's what I do. We talked about this yesterday. It's not ideal, but it's what I do. Um, there are certain things you have to do in certain industries. In college football, college basketball. If you want to be a top 15 program, coaching is important. So is being a salesman. Yeah. Got to suck up to 17 and 18 year olds. Kind of gross. Pander, placate, over the top, total love, overlook flaws, immaturity. You have to be a salesman. I know you didn't want to be. Nick Saban's like a great coach. But what really makes him a great coach is he's a great salesman. Really? That's it? Sometimes Lincoln Riley, Ryan Day, Jim Harbaugh, going door to door. Want to buy this? Want to buy that? Michigan football, come on in. The bad news about the NFL, becoming so quarterback-centric, you can't hit them, they make $50 million, they gobble up your cap space, even B-level quarterbacks like Dak Prescott, Kirk Cousins, Got to pay him big money. Rules all help the quarterback now. You are beholden, and this is not something you ever want to be in any business. You're beholden to one employee. Even Belichick Brady. It's a 70-30 split. Brady's more important. But for the safety of the league and the viability of the sport long term, they don't want you hitting the quarterback. And every year there's seemingly another rule or regulation to limit how much a quarterback can get touched. Forget hit, just touched. Now, the good news is the five or six top quarterbacks in this league are adults, and they're committed. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Herbert, Josh Allen, they are great employees. They are all in in the season, all in in the offseason. They're great in the community. They're great in the room. They are awesome. You are beholden to them. Lots of people get fired if they leave. Yeah, Josh Allen leaves. Sean McDermott doesn't survive very long. Joe Burrow leaves, gets hurt. Zach Taylor doesn't survive very long. You are beholden to one employee. That's generally not a great business structure. And what happens, though, is also some of the great quarterbacks, two specifically, Aaron Rodgers and Kyler Murray. Yes, it's the same. A lot of ego. A lot of drama, kind of committed. Kyler Murray's on those video games reportedly. He's not all in during the week. Aaron Rodgers, ayahuasca, rehab trips. He's not available in the offseason. I know you don't think it's the same. It is. Too much drama, not enough commitment, a lot of ego, sort of needy. I mean, Devontae Adams left Green Bay. Why? He just didn't know if Aaron's going to stick around. Sort of a loss. Did you watch him this year? Kind of missed him. By the way, DeAndre Hopkins wants out. Larry Fitzgerald retired. Aaron and Kyler, maybe different players. It's a lot of the same stuff. So this Tennessee, by the way, 
great coach, great defense, great run game, irrelevant. Don't have a quarterback. Jacksonville has all sorts of issues. Got the quarterback. <laughs> Got the quarterback. So the downside to this league 